Good morning. And this morning, I want to talk about how to prepare a USB thumb drive to update or reinstall your PlayStation 5 system software. Now, why might you want to do that? Well, I can think of two reasons off the top of my head. The first one is that you've tried to update your PlayStation 5 and it's not worked. So you want to try and do it using a USB drive. The other scenario is that maybe you've had problems with your PlayStation 5 and you want to do a complete reinstall and delete everything off it and reinstall the system software as well and hopefully solve your problems that way. So I'm sure there are other reasons for doing this, but those are two that I can think of off the top of my head. You're going to need a couple of things though. And the first thing you're going to need is obviously a USB thumb drive. And for my money, I would say preferably you want one that is under 32 gigabytes in size. And the reason for that is if you get a drive that's under 32 gigabytes and you're using Windows 10, it's going to be a lot easier to format in FAT32. And you will need to format your drive as FAT32 in order for the system software update or reinstall to work. So obviously, <laughs> make sure that you're doing that correctly. But we'll get to formatting in a moment. The other thing you're going to need is you're going to need the system software. And as you can see here, I've got the PlayStation 5 system software update page loaded up. And if we go down a little way, you'll see that there are two files here. We've got download PlayStation 5 update file, download PlayStation 5 reinstallation file. Now, obviously, the file you're going to need to download will depend on the scenario that you're in. So if you have tried to do an update and it's failed and you want to try and use a USB drive to update it, you would need the PlayStation 5 update file. If you want to do a complete reinstallation, you would need the PlayStation 5 reinstallation file. So do make sure you download the correct file. I'm going to go with the update file for today and click on that and it will begin the download. Now. As you can see here, I've got one downloaded already and it says PS5 update 1.pup or PUP. Now, you want to make sure when you download this, if it has a number in brackets, when you come to putting it on your USB drive, you want to rename it. So it should just say PS5 update dot PUP. It shouldn't have the brackets, it shouldn't have the number, it shouldn't have any spaces. If you've named it correctly, it'll work. If you haven't, it's not going to work at all. So anyway, that's that. What next? Well, obviously, uh, you're going to need to <laughs> create the USB drive. So once you've downloaded the file, and I've already downloaded it, so it's already on my desktop, so we'll get to that in a minute. Once you've downloaded the file, you're going to need to start the process of preparing the USB drive. So let's get to that. Right, so as you can see, I'm now on my desktop and over on the left hand side here where my cursor is, you can see the update file. If I click on that, it says PS5 update.pup. And as I was saying before, that's what it has to be named. What you need to do though is obviously plug in your USB drive and that'll load up. And as you can see, I've got mine here. What you're going to need to do is right click on it and select format. And as you can see here, it's already set as FAT32, but you've got NTFS, FAT32 and XFAT. You would select FAT32. Now, if it's larger than a 32 gig drive, you may not have the option to format as FAT32, in which case you're going to need to use a third party piece of software. But I'm not going to get into that today. Just get yourself a 32 gig drive or, or smaller. It will be fine. And then you can do quick format. You could do a long one if you want, but I wouldn't bother. I'd just do a quick one. Click start. It says warning formatting will erase all data on this disk. So if you've got anything on the drive that you want to keep, <laughs> copy it to your computer first. Then once you've done that, you can format. And we just wait for it to do its format. And as you can see, it completes that very, very quickly. So we OK that and close that down and we can close this down. Now, 
Let's just go back into File Explorer. And as you can see here, we've got new volume. Now, this is my drive. You could give it a name if you wanted to, but I didn't bother. Um, as you can see here, there's nothing in it at the moment. And you're going to need to move your PlayStation 5 update file across. But you can't just move it into the drive. You actually need to create some folders first. So right click on the blank space on the drive and select folder, new folder. And that would be called PS5 and enter. Then double click that and right click again, new folder. And this one is called update and enter. Then double click on that. And there's nothing in here at the moment. What you would just do is just drag your update file across and it will copy across. And once that's finished copying across, as you can see here, we've now got the correctly named update file. And I'll just say that again, ps5 update.pup. And uh, yeah, now you're good to go. All you would need to do is hit eject. Yeah, it may not let me know, it's not letting me yet. It takes a moment. Hit eject and then you can take your USB drive out and then plug it into your PlayStation and you're ready to do your update. Now, I'll just recap a couple of things here. Obviously, you need to make sure that your PlayStation 5 update file has the right name. You're also going to make sure that you are formatted as FAT32. And the other thing you want to make sure is make sure that you've downloaded the correct file. Obviously, if you're doing an update, you want this one. If you're doing a reinstallation, you want this one. And if you download the wrong one, it isn't going to work either way. Anyway, I hope that one helped you guys out. If it did, give us a like and subscribe and all the rest of it. I'm going to go and grab myself a cup of tea and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Bye.